Okay, here I am printing for the first time ever with the Mosaic Palette 2, as you can see. Right now it looks like it's doing some kind of a splice, maybe. Um, or a ping and a pong. So you can see it's printing. Uh, this is my overall setup. It's very temporary. I plan on fixing it later, but I needed some room to spread out and get it going. Just reusing the box. I've got blue or uh, black and silver loaded. So it looks like it's, um, well, I can tell it looks like it's printing it just, just how it needs to be with the colors correct. So the lid comes off so you can actually see inside of it. There's a fan blowing to keep the splice core cool. I've actually got it mounted upside down. I ended up printing this thing from Thingiverse allows you to do that so it just seemed to make more sense if you want your spools mounted above so then you just feed right through here. Alright so first impressions are pretty good. I also had some problems um, with the loading the firmware. When I first got it it was telling me that I needed to update the firmware. I tried it on my Mac over here and uh, this is kind of an older Mac but usually it works especially with all my drone stuff but um, I, I ended up having to use the chat help and they were able to point me um, in the right direction using the PC and downloading some um, FTD on the drivers, I believe it was. And I'll post those in the description. Alright, we'll check back here and see how it goes. I'd also like to call out the uh, custom 3D printed, um, I don't know what you call it, a PFT holder. What it allows you to do is to easily load your filament in. Um, this is the stock one here that I've got. So this one, there's there's also a method where you can just slide a clip over it and fit it on this, but I thought this one looked a little better. I noticed that the, the Prusa thinks that it's about 33% done, 34% done, but based on the progress bar here, that looks about 50% done, so I'm not really sure which one's right. I guess we'll probably find out sooner or later. One thing you may have noticed is that the Pellet 2 logo is upside down in the box and it's mounted upside down. Um, so the reason that I did that is because I want to be able to uh, feed the filament from the top. Um, and then the tube's on the bottom so it just reverses how that's laid out. There's a setting when you load the new firmware that allows you to rotate the screen. So it's a pretty nice option to be able to mount it upside down and right side up, depending on your setup. For your first print, they recommend you do it from the SD card, but I also have a Raspberry Pi that I'll plan on using for future prints. Um, so that's actually already connected to my printer, uh, but and it's it's actually running, but it's just monitoring it. It's not driving it. So I'm printing straight from the SD card. Unfortunately, as you can see, the first print failed and uh, did not go so great. And the reason for that, um, I'll I'll show you in a minute. Alright guys, I am reprinting this with um, different filament, and the reason for that is I mistakenly had a gray PETG without a PLA, so I was trying to print PETG at PLA temperatures, and I ended up getting a, kind of a crappy um, result. It was looking pretty good initially, but I think something eventually you know, clogged or just had problems um, extruding that, because it was only extruding at about 215 degrees Celsius, where that G really wants about 230. So. All right, it looks like, according to the palette 2, the print is complete. One thing I noticed is that it's still printing, so I'm thinking maybe what it means is the splicing is complete. And uh, it still appears to be doing the filament. It's looking a lot better. Um, I think uh, my issue is definitely because I was trying to use two different types of filament with the same settings. Um, so yeah, looking good, almost done. So the print is still actually going, um, but I looked inside here and it says there's actually, um, it looks like it already cut the filament, so it must be just doing the remaining filament that's in the tube. So I think that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why it's still building up the tower though, because it doesn't really seem to make much sense. But it is. Okay, so here you can see the final result of the print. It actually turned out very nicely. It turns out that the printer still does keep going. 
and the pallet had cut the filament just right so there was just enough left and that was why the purge tower was still building. There's actually still some black that it had to print on the top of the keychain. So I think it's uh, overall very nice machine and I think um, I'm really looking forward to using it, especially with the new, uh, they call it uh, canvas painting, which is a new feature where you can paint individual facets of the actual model. So a lot of really cool features and hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.